up guys it's your girl dental babe ray here and i'm back with another wig review it's for love me hair company wondering about this gorgeous unit that i'm currently wearing i did do a review on it it's the dark red water wave in eight inches so let's get started on the new arrival so the wig i'm going to be doing a review on today is their new wig it's the classic copper highlights wig and i have it in 18 inches and it's in the straight texture so when i seen this wig drop on the website i just knew i had to have it i don't normally wear straight hair but the highlights were gorgeous on this wig just look at it so it's giving like a chocolate brown and a peanut butter color i'm absolutely obsessed with this and i think i'm gonna name her peanut butter cup I was a little worried about this wig because it is 150 density and because that it's straight it is really thin so I didn't want to go any longer than 18 inches. What do you guys think? This wig is super soft, but it's so thin. This is all of the hair pulled to the front. So I was a little worried about going to my normal 24 inches, but this does seem pretty long for 18 inches. I am impressed with that. And I'm hoping when I wash it, it'll look a little fuller. So I don't know, I guess we'll just have to see. This is a two for one special with a review. I did win in the wig group their new shampoo and conditioner. So I'm going to use this on this wig and give a review on this also. It is sulfate free and paraben free. So I am excited about that for Love Me expanding and trying new things. I haven't opened this yet. So it will be an initial review for me as well. So we will go over it together and I will tell you guys my pros and my cons and everything that I love. I open the packages up and they're the cutest little shampoo and conditioner perfect for traveling. They're 1.6 fluid ounces and they smell so good. I don't know what love me put in this, but it smells amazing. It's coconutty, but it has like a hint of vanilla. They definitely did a great job with the smell. I'm really obsessed with this and I'm so excited to see how it'll do on this wig. Alright guys, so I'm back from washing this wig and blow drying it. Look how completely different this is. I cannot stress enough how important it is to wash your units. Look how much more thick this looks. It doesn't look thin. It's gorgeous. This is 150 density, by the way. Alright, so I purposely didn't straighten this hair. All I did was just blow dry it out with my weed chip blow drying brush like I've talked about in other videos and I wanted to do a surprise and straighten on here with you guys with love me straightener so I have this straightener and I haven't done a review on it and I've had it for quite a few months now and I've only used it once so it has these ridges so that you can't burn yourself it goes to 420 degrees and it's very smooth to the touch it gets very hot so I thought, why not straighten this unit and let's see how she gets. For my heat protectant today, I'm going to use Organic's Smooth Flat Iron Finishing Spray. I've had this for a while. It's been sitting around and I like to use it when I straighten my hair. I don't normally wear straight hair if you haven't noticed. So I have a lot of this left. So let's get started. guys so here are the final results what do you guys think 
I am not a straight hair girl. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks so different on me. I love curls. It is a beautiful unit, but I don't know how I feel about straight hair on me at least. But can we talk about these highlights? Because these highlights are bomb. They did a gorgeous job dyeing this unit. I know you guys are probably thinking, what did I think of the shampoo and conditioner? All right, so let's talk about the shampoo. The shampoo didn't lather how when I use a shampoo, I want it to lather. Honestly, I don't use shampoo to begin with. I just co-wash, but I did want to try it out for the sake of this video. And the consistency was like a little runny. Um, it wasn't thick. It was a little runny, like watery, and it just didn't lather. So if you want shampoo that gives like those bubbly look, this is not the shampoo for you. Now let's talk about the conditioner. That one smelled so much better than the shampoo. They both smell good, but the conditioner was just more coconutty, vanilla-y, and I'm obsessed with the smell of that one. It was a thicker consistency. It did leave the hair feeling soft. It didn't really give much of a shine, but it was a pretty decent conditioner. Would that be my go-to conditioner? Probably not. I love Aussie Curls. I use it for everything. I don't even care if it's a straight unit. I'm obsessed with Aussie Curls. But as a free gift, yes, I would definitely use it. It's sulfate-free, and that's always what I look for when I use a conditioner or a shampoo. All right, so let's talk about the straightener. The straightener gave gorgeous results. Just look at this. And that shine is definitely from the heat protectant that I use, but the straightener did help with it. I am very impressed with it. I guess a con would be because of the way the straightener is, it's almost like a brush. You can't really get it really close to your scalp. So you definitely still need to use a hot comb if you want to do this area, but it straightens really well. Now the moment you guys all have been waiting for, grade with the dental babe. Time to give this unit a grade. So we're gonna give her 4.5 out of five teeth. So if you've been following me on my channel, you know that I'm extra. So the reason that this hair got 4.5 out of five teeth and not a full five out of five teeth, there were a few cons for me. Let's start with the lace. The lace right now may look melted, but it took me a while to get it to look melted. I have a few complaints. This lace seemed way different than the normal lace. It wasn't HD, it was just the normal lace, but something about this lace was very different to me than normal. When I cut it, it just, it would not lay glueless, and normally I can wear my wigs glueless regardless if they're not HD or not. I can manipulate them to look HD, and this one gave me some difficulties. I actually had to use my lace melting spray to make this look like this. So that was a con for me because the lace was not lacing. So that was definitely a con for me because I like the option of being able to go glueless. And this one I just couldn't like, look how that's just up. Like it just doesn't lay. When I wear my wigs glueless, I never have an issue like that. Another con is the adjustable band. I hate it. It's the new one and it is not like the original. And I will add a clip so that you guys can see what it does. It flips and it twirls and the old adjustable band did not do that. To me, it's super frustrating because when you wear it, it just flips and it crinkles and I don't know, it's just weird. It's not comfortable. All right, so those were my few cons that bothered me. So let's go over the pros. This wig is so soft. I'm so impressed with that. And the 150 density, you can't tell me that this wig doesn't look full. It looks so much better than when I first tried this wig initially on. And the colors... The colors are amazing. I am so impressed with it. The most important part, there was no shedding. And you guys know how big shedding is for me. Overall, this wig is definitely a great purchase and I definitely think it's a must buy. As always, I wanna say thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe and stay blessed.